hello everyone welcome back to my unity open world tutorial series so in this episode we are going to set up a controller script to control the animator and update its parameters so in the last time we created a blend tree to blend these characters idle animation to work and work to run and run to sprint so today I'm going to control those parameters and play the relevant animation like this so now as you can see when I start moving my character goes from idle animation to run in animation like this so that's what I'm going to cover in this episode okay so now we have the blend uh, blend tree set up and yeah here is the parameter so as the parameter name I have used velocity but in the parameter setup I have the blend and here also I can select the blend so let me rename here to velocity right now it should work now uh, yeah uh, let's go back to the base layer and I'll delete this one and this will be my new default state or right um, now when I play you can still see the idle animation is being played and also yeah I need to enable looping for this working and sprinting and running animations as well otherwise it wouldn't work in the way I expect Uh, now let's in the character uh, we need to access this animator and then set the velocity of that animation velocity parameter we have defined here through the script so what's the best way to do that well I think uh, yeah let's define another script let's call it character animation controller right now here let me open it Right, uh, here I'll add a public animation controller animator oh let's just call it animator and in the update now we need to calculate and set the velocity parameter of the animator so to calculate the velocity um, I think right now uh, I think let's do something like this let's define a dependency here like in the input I did uh, 
now let's same as before let's get the character component reference to animation controller let me define red uh, okay now in the update i'll use animator oh. so yeah i need to have a valid animator c here so if animator equals null that means i don't have an animator here I'll debug print a warning no valid any matter why and return so if there are no valid reference in the animator nothing else after this statement will be executed so yeah if i have a valid animator then animator set float for um, wait how do i set this okay int id of float value string name float value okay let's use this format for the name let's use velocity and for the value let's uh, character get velocity we don't have a such method but when i define it like this i will get the option to generate method inside the character uh, character class so yeah like this i'll make this on public and now for the okay we do have a velocity field here do I use it properly? Yeah. But this velocity value, this is a vector. I need a float. So return velocity magnitude. So it returns the magnitude of that velocity vector. Right now it should be all right is that all well also um i need to have a proper idea about uh, what kind of a value we would have so here i'll print velocity value as well what's this okay we don't need this anymore so i'll delete this one okay now shall we play the game ah wait i need to have I didn't add the script I just created. Character animation control. Ooh. And for this field, I'll drag and drop this one, and it will fill out and get the character mesh animator okay now let's play uh, 
and let's go to the console to see what kind of values we get when we move okay it I think it differs between 0 and 1 all right so that means uh, instead of 20 I need to set this to 1 right now it should properly work let's see okay now as you can see the system is working but we have a slight problem because uh, my character doesn't rotate towards the direction I am moving so that's the problem here so that's why we feel like character is not going in the direction that I am looking at okay so but uh, I'll fix that problem in the next episode so for now I'll stop this episode at this point and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patron club link would be in the description below and thank you for watching see you in the next episode goodbye